Hello and welcome to Mastercrafters. It's Rage Monkey here, coming at you with another video. This time, it's how to defeat the en Ender Dragon fairly easily. I hope you have a great time watching. There are two ways you can find the stronghold. You can either use the Eye of Ender way and follow the trail of Eye of Enders, as shown in my video, or you can go into your creative world and slash locate stronghold and that should tell you exactly where the stronghold is i personally like using the eye of ender way because personally to me the finding the stronghold through commands just doesn't feel right kind of feels a little bit cheeky but on to the video hello everybody for this trick all you need is your eye of ender you will throw it up by left clicking or on a mouse right clicking and follow that exact direction you're going to want to follow that direction until you make it to where your eye of ender goes straight down instead of up now along the way your eye of ender might break so you might want to take a couple extras along with you but once it goes down all you have to do is dig straight down and you'll find the stronghold which you can find many good riches and of course the ender portal where i will be showing you how to defeat the ender dragon Once you finally make it to the stronghold, you'll see in this room that it's got a spawner. All you're going to do is just break it with your pickaxe, and that should be good. To start it off, you're going to want a bed, at least one chest, I took two. You're going to want some good stuff to fight the ender dragon with, a water bucket, some food, a bunch of blocks, and then a couple eye of vendors. You're going to want to set all of your good stuff into the, your chest except for your water bucket your diamond pickaxe some food your eye of enders and of course your building blocks get your building blocks into your inventory you know want to place the ender eyes all around the portal and hop right in when you make it sometimes you'll be put all the way out here you're just going to want to bridge across once you've made it all the way across the bridge, you're going to want to take out the end crystals, which are located on the top of all of these poles. To, in case of any endermen that are lying around, try to keep your head low. And if some get mad at you, all you need is your water bucket. Place it in and just sit in the middle of it. You're going to want more of a spread, and then they, wouldn't, they won't be able to hurt you. Break them, you're going to want to dig all, build all the way up to the top and well destroy the end crystal because if not the ender dragon will always be healed by these end crystals be careful because that ender dragon he hits hard all you have to do is one tap it with anything including dirt and you will take quite a bit of damage but that's okay on to a time lapse of destroying all of the end crystals the reason I had you put away all of your stuff is because you, if you die, sometimes you'll lose a lot of your stuff. And a lot of times, trust me when I say, you will die during this. Now, if you really wanted to, you could just take your bow and shoot the end crystals that aren't guarded by the gates, but I thought it would be kind of cool just to go up every single one. But if you really want to, you can shoot them, and they will explode. Now, you will die a lot. Try to stay away from Enderman, and just have fun. It's a fun experience. On to the rest of the time lapse.
you're gonna want to get your armor on. You're gonna want to take out your sword. Once take you back your bow. Every you're gonna fight this dragon. Crystals? You will take out this dragon. Everyone knows you can. I know you can, at least. So, what you're gonna want to do is, whenever he's just kind of that, you're gonna want to take your bow and shoot him near the chest area. That's where the hit. Now, if you hit, if you hit, or if you destroyed all of the end crystals, you should he should not have any beams connecting to him, and sh he should not be. But if you left some, you'll see a beam connecting, and he will start to be. This is like an aim training map. It is very hard. When he falls down, when he goes to sleep, he will rest for a bit, and you'll be able to hit him. He'll be vulnerable. Just watch out for his purple vicious areas. Right here, he goes to sleep, and you can hit him. Just watch out, because he packs a punch with his magic. For some reason, it says that the Ender Dragon is at full health. It is probably because of a glitch. That if you die, sometimes the Ender Dragon will respawn, and it will respawn his health bar. But Mojang is working on a fix, and it should be out in the newest update, 1.16. In this fight, even you probably will die at least once or twice, but still, it's quite fun to fight the Ender Dragon. The fight will last for a bit, but he continuously goes to sleep, and that's when you take the advantage of him and start hitting him for a lot of damage. Like right here. And you continue shooting him with your- and you continue your aim training map, and try not to get killed by Enderman, like I almost just did. If you do, it's alright. Sometimes that happens. I also forgot to mention that when he goes to sleep, he is unhittable by arrows, only by your sword. This Enderman is about to kill me. You have a good enchanted sword. When he takes a rest, you can hit him for huge amounts of damage. That's when you take the most advantage of him. a very hard target to hit as you can see or I'm just not that good of a shot which honestly it could be both but sometime you will get this ender dragon when you successfully kill this dragon he'll go up in an explosion and then a bunch of XP will flow and you'll get a huge amount of XP I just went into creative so I could show you guys that awesome experience now, what you see here is a dragon egg. If you hit, if you right click it, it will respawn somewhere around the map, and all you have to do is follow it to the portal, which will take you to the end city as long as you have your trusty ender pearl. And as we can see, it demonstrated right here. There's an end portal right here. If we throw an ender pearl in, it takes us to a whole other dimension. Where you can find your elytras and your shulker boxes. Alright everybody, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, consider hitting that like button and maybe just consider subscribing. Have a great rest of your day.